All right, and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bacoria, host, as you know, and I'm here at a special GMC event in Detroit for the unveiling of the Sierra uh, Denali All Electric. And I'm here with Nicole Kratz. Did I get that right again, yes, the pronunciation? Absolutely. Good to see you again. If Great you've been to be watching here. my channel, you know I interviewed Nicole on a podcast a few months ago about the Silverado. Well, this is the next pickup truck in the GMC lineup. And I wanted to just get a couple minutes with you, Nicole, and appreciate being invited down for this. Now, you guys are very passionate about the pickup trucks. Your, your customers are very passionate, as we discuss on the Silverado side. What have you done with the Denali and the GMC element here to keep the passion going for your clients? And, and what are they going to get from this truck? Yeah, so our Sierra EV customers are really um, important to us, and I think coming out with our Denali first mm -hmm. is a real um, tipping of our hats to those customers who really desire that um, bold design of a Sierra pickup yeah. truck, full-size pickup truck, as well as the um, materials and the um, fine details that we've come to have in a Denali right. they, specifically they model. That, right? mm -hmm. Very luxurious, mm -hmm. very... Um, you know, specific uses of some really great materials mm -hmm. like non-porous wood inside of the vehicle that really brings that luxury to the next level. Um, the other thing that's really important though is that when we bring out a new full-size truck off an all-new architecture like we're doing with the Sierra mm -hmm. EV Denali. Again, all-team-based all architecture. All-team-based yeah. mm -hmm. architecture. We have to make sure that we recognize that there are no excuses and no compromises right. in terms of the quality, durability, capability, performance of what a full-size truck needs to be. Mm -hmm. And so we recognize that our Sierra um, customers and full-size truck drivers, period, really um, desire the ability to do whatever they need to do with their full-size truck, both on and off-road, carry payload, carry people, carry cargo. Mm -hmm. Um, and so the Sierra EV Denali actually has like everything they could possibly imagine. Mm -hmm. We have off-board charging, we have capabilities to be able to put up to 10.2 kilowatts back into your home. Mm -hmm. um, essential devices can be used in your home for up to 21 days. Mm -hmm. So people in Florida, Much California more relevant now, I'll tell you. Yeah, <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, yeah. we are really proud of this. And it really has to do with this 400 mile range pack that we yeah. have, the battery pack. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's being developed all new from the ground up, the, the truck is, mm -hmm. so that we can get that over 400 miles of range, and then allow the customers to choose what they want to do with it. Absolutely, and without, again, no compromising. No compromising. Getting, in fact, more features and benefits because of that electrified powertrain, all-wheel drive yep. started coming out of the gate. Uh, you know, I love the mid-gate. We talked about that on the Silverado. You've carried that over. The versatility and, and the utilitarianism, if I've got that word right, of the <laughs> mid-gate, right? Being Absolutely. able to, you know, have somebody still sitting in the back, carry a cargo load. You can put a sealable tonneau cover, right? Keep the yep. elements out, you know, for us winter, you know, states here. Absolutely, yep. Um, so having that functionality, good towing capacities, I think in excess of 9,000 pounds or around that, if I'm not yep, mistaken. 9,500 pounds of towing capability. And, and the really great thing about this EV architecture is that the battery reduces the center of gravity, brings it lower. Yes, yeah. And so the trailering dynamics as well as the non-trailering dynamics are amazing. Mm -hmm. We have rear steer in this truck. Mm -hmm. And so the ability to steer, get into tighter yep. spaces, parking spaces makes it a very easy um, thing that might challenge some people that may not consider a full-size truck previously and now right. makes it very easy to drive. And then of course for GMC as we've had in the Hummer EV, we're having crab walk in our go. Sierra EV Denali and that's a super fun feature that lots of people enjoy playing around with. I can see guys going to parking lots and showing that off to their buddies, right? Yes, look at, look at what I can do with crab walk, it's pretty yep. cool. Um, we mentioned uh, the towing payload around 1,300 pounds yep. if I'm not mistaken around that. Um, is it rear independent suspension as well on this? I'm trying yeah, to remember. So we yes. have rear independent uh -huh. suspension. It's yeah. been designed specifically for our EV pickup architecture. Yeah. Um, and it's air adaptive mm -hmm. suspension on our Sierra EV Denali mm -hmm. Edition 1. Yeah. Uh, 24 inch wheels and tires, rear steer, yeah. you know, with crab walk, as yeah. I mentioned, lots of technology, 754 horsepower, 785 pound feet of torque wow. with a zero to 60, well under four and a half seconds. Nice, that's pretty fast for a pretty heavy truck. I mean, you know, these Absolutely. aren't gonna be light and very capable and obviously supporting over the air updates as, you know, GM starts to roll those out to the different fleets. So like us, it will get better with age. That's it will. That's what I keep saying. I yeah, hope our, so. <laughs> our, our Altify architecture actually allows yes. us to upgrade over time. Right. And so people don't need to go and purchase a new vehicle to get upgrades. Mm -hmm. We're really proud of that. We 
also have Google integrated into the vehicle, mm -hmm. so when you set your navigation to a location, we'll actually tell you where the charge stations are. Great. We'll tell you your percent state of charge upon arrival, Excellent. and we'll also let you know if we think you need to charge before your destination. And so mm -hmm. having all of this technology integrated really provides right. a great opportunity for our Sierra customers. And with the Charge 360 program, having the interconnectivity, so you'll get an experience where you just drive up, plug in, go grab a coffee or whatever and then plug out and off you go. That's so right and it's it probably just seamless. a coffee because we offer a 350 kilowatt fast charge, right. DC yeah. fast charge, which is um, certainly industry best right now mm -hmm. and we can do a hundred miles in 10 minutes so you're just grabbing a coffee, you're not sitting down and having you know a whole no um, time afternoon for of charging. Exactly. Well I'll, I'll rattle off some other specs as I show some more b-roll and stuff but Nicole thank you as always it's a pleasure um, and I'm great to meet you in person and I Absolutely. hope to see you again for some of the future stuff and eventually we'll see these on the road coming out in 2024 my understanding for first customer ship uh, yep. early, uh, starting, 2024. early 2024 starting production late next year so I'm excited about it. Absolutely. So thank you very much. It's great All right. to you. You too. Thanks. All right so just to give a recap on the specs the 2024 GMC Sierra EV Denali this is the edition one now this is not going to be sold in Canada in 2024. It's going to be for the US market only that I'm being told and that it'll be available in Canada with a performance specification model announced at a later date. Um, so specs and features for the 2024 Sierra EV may not apply to the 2025 model, which means the way I read that is that the 2025 model will probably have either a bigger battery or more horsepower or a combination of different features. So that's a good thing. I think to, com to combat the northern climates, they're probably going to beef it up. But just to wrap up the specifications, you've heard a lot already, but I wanted to go through a four. Again, this is going to be available in early 2024, uh, starting at the North American U.S. marketplace. Um, and then an EV AT4 and other elevation trims will join later in 2024 under the Denali EV brand. They're all going to be built at GM's Factory Zero in Michigan, uh, and it's the only now uh, brand to offer three all-electric pickup trucks. The Hummer EV pickup, the Hummer uh, EV SUV, and Sierra EV, so they call it trucks. I'll also throw in the Silverado EV there, so um, I think there's four. Now again, these are going to be powered by that all purposeful Altium platform, giving 400 miles of EPA rated range for the US and 640 kilometers range, which is GM estimated, sorry, it's not EPA rated yet, on a full charge. DC fast charging support up to 350 kilowatts, enabling um, 160 kilometers of range in 10 minutes, which is what they usually give, you know, that number of miles and number of kilometers in 10 minutes. So. Obviously, we'll see when the truck comes out or when we're able to get some testing there of what the actual higher pulls will be, but I'm confident that they'll be well into the 200 kilowatt range, if not even higher. Again, they do offer that onboard vehicle to load power station, uh, offers 10.2 kilowatts of power uh, available with the Altium power bar. Again, the base specs coming on this edition one, 754 horsepower and 785 pound-feet of torque in max power mode, up to 9,500 pounds, trailering capacity. Um, you'll have trailering capable super cruise as well to help with that. Four and a half seconds, almost zero to 100, uh, which is an estimate right now, a full air ride adaptive suspension, so you can raise and lower the truck by approximately two inches and it'll have those propulsion technologies that we mentioned earlier, like crab walk, one pedal driving, uh, four wheel steer, uh, with crab walk obviously, a uh, four wheel steer, and the variable regen on demand. Now internally, as I mentioned, that 16.8 inch diagonal freeform infotainment touchscreen with a 14 inch uh, multicolor heads up display, uh, 11 inch driver information center of the binnacle, up to 14 camera views, so surround sound cameras, 24 inch wheels and 35 inch OD tires, a panoramic fixed glass roof, a roof that has all the coatings on it. You've got this illuminated uh, GMC badge grill as you saw, uh, with a front, front E trunk with power hood and two drains for those keggers and those football tailgate parties, but front gate parties, and I've coined that now, by the way. Signature Donali interior experience, of course, uh, lots of premium touches in this. Uh, and on and on and on, so I won't get into all those details. Also, the versatility of this pickup. Some may say, again, the bed's not long enough, but with that mid-gate um, and the flexibility in the tailgate to enable the extensions, you can put an 8x4x8 uh, sheet in there comfortably 
to uh, move things into for working loads as well. Um, so it's very, very uh, uh, good. You got that E trunk, which is uh, uh, increases cargo room. It's a lockable, weatherproof compartment as well. That's up at the front, uh, as I mentioned. Um, just trying to read some more of the specs here that they've given me. I think I've given you guys everything that I know at this point. There's lots of other little details, but you'll be able to read that on their website that uh, by the time you see this um, video, they'll be going, doing a live stream uh, unveiling of it. So there'll be lots of stuff that will be publicly there that you can dive into. Again, these things aren't coming for a year, so there's no super rush. You know, again, part of GM's holistic approach, of course, is that Ultium Charge 360 program, as I mentioned on my Detroit Auto Show coverage, where they're working with uh, EV uh, charging providers to have that seamless Tesla-like experience where you just plug in and it charges and then you unplug and off you go. So that's all good stuff. Um, again, this is going to be a very capable pickup truck. GMC is known for their really uh, confident and they have a loyal following of pickup truck owners, specifically in the fleets and the work use capabilities. So it will have all that. I think what they're really focusing on now is trying to really extend the payload and, and towing capabilities of EVs because we do know that it's not uncommon to lose about 50% of your range when you're towing something pretty heavy. So I think that's why they're mentioning, you know, these specs might change a bit because they really want to beef it up and that's a good thing. So we'll have to wait and see. Now pricing uh, that I've been given so far is a starting MSRP uh, of 107,000 uh, plus destination and stuff. Um, for the top line Denali Edition 1, I'm sure there's going to be a limited number of those. I don't know how many, but I'm sure there'll be a limited number. Um, but as the EV models uh, get closer to the start of production for more of the general trim runs, they are claiming MSRP starting around 50,000 US, and that's not too bad. If, you know, that's 59. 9 Canadian or 64.5, something like that, for a fairly loaded, capable, all-electric truck with 600 plus kilometer range, I think that's a really good price point. That's going to give the cyber trucks and the other variants, the Rivians of the world, a good run for their money, and GMC does no pickup truck. Again, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you are watching on YouTube, I appreciate it. If you're not subscribing, please do. It would mean a lot. I always enjoy comments as well. If you're um, uh, supporting me on Patreon, you can see the link below and just follow, follow the cues there, and I would appreciate that. Um, keep watching your eyes on the EV revolution. There's lots of stuff going on, and I'll continue to bring cars and stories to you as I get them. So until the next time, and until I see you, everybody stay safe, and I will see you when I do see you. Take care, and bye-bye.